Welcome back. Today we're going to dis discuss this problem and before we go through this, let's take a look at the difference between intra and inter. If you know, don't know the difference between intra and inter, please look refer to the dictionary. And here we're going to discuss about the dialysis, right? That means before the dialysis, during the dialysis and after the dialysis, how the concentrations are going to vary and how we have to predict the concentrations. Because based on the concentrations, before and after the dialysis and you know you adjust the dosage strength right so take a look at that um, in a graphical presentation over here okay there's a y-axis concentration in natural log and x-axis obviously it's time usually the dialysis takes place six hours so six, every six hours okay so before the dialysis let's say the drug is being cleared out of the body because of the patient's ability to clear the drug Okay, um, let's say his kidneys are functioning at least 10% or 20% of his kidneys are functioning properly. Okay, so there is a less steep here. And because of the dialysis, you know, the drug will be cleared at a faster rate. And it's a very steep curve here. Okay, so this part is, is that is before the dialysis, okay, so the clearance is just CL. But this fraction, this part here, the clearance is due to the patient's ability to clear the drug plus clearance due to the dialysis, right? And again, once the dialysis is over and if you dose the patient, again, the concentrations will increase. And again, the natural process, the clearance takes place. And again, after you know 72 hours, um, again, uh, if you perform dialysis, again, the drug levels will go down so this process continues um, uh, until the patient's uh, kidneys function normally or kidney replacement whatever it is so this portion okay so this part is called the intra within that means intra dialysis intra dialytic time or intra dialysis dialytic time and Inter is the term to determine the between the dialysis. So what is the time between the dialysis? So here's it is the first dialysis and here is the second time where they started dialysis ended, right? So this uh, this ended and it's the beginning of the second dialysis. So this time period is called this time period is called inter dialytic time period. So whatever the terminology here is like inter dialysis elimination or uh, T half during interdialysis, whatever it is, so he calls it inter. Everything that is between two dialysis is inter, and everything that is taking place during the dialysis is intra. Okay, so let's take a look at the example here. So here's a study done by Martin and uh, Gambaragolio et al. So here they are looking at the hemodialysis, uh, you know, the removal of the phenytoin drug by hemodialysis in uremic patient. So the plasma concentrations fell from 3.9 to 3.5 mg per liter during dialysis. Okay, so the first question is we have to find out the T half. So, hey, T half is equal to 0 0.693 by K. Hmm, do we have the information of K? No, we don't have it. So that's what we're going to find out, K. So elimination rate constant, I hope you remember the elimination rate constant equation. If you don't, uh, let me give you a brief description. So elimination rate constant is nothing but a slope, right? Anything that is slope. So it's um, you know y2 minus y1 or x2 minus you know x1. But here we have the concentration in natural log. The y-axis is in natural log. So k is equal to ln of c2 minus ln of c1 divided by T2 minus T1. Anyway, the dialysis took place for six hours. Okay, so ln of con natural log of concentration is 3.9 minus natural log of 3.5. That means the concentration of phenytoin fell from 3.9 to 3.5 during dialysis. That means it's, this is 3.9 and this is 3.5 right so that is it so two time points divided by six 
So if you solve for this one, we'll have a value of 0 0.018 hours, right? Because uh, our inverse, sorry, our inverse. So what is the t half now? t half is again 0 0.693 by 0 0.018. Okay. So the value is 38.4 hours. Okay, the T half of intradialectic, it's intra, okay, dialectic is 38.4 hours. Okay, again, the equations are pretty basic, guys. So you do remember this one, this equation, this equation, and the other equation is C is equal to C naught into E to the power of minus K. I hope you remember this equation. Okay. What are the problems that we're going to discuss? It's all dependent upon only these three equations, but the terminology varies a little bit. Like uh, here we can say C intra concentration or C inter concentration, so whatever it is. So I'm going to explain that in detail. Let's get back to the next problem. What is the concentration halfway through the hemodialysis period? Okay, halfway through the hemodialysis, that is three hours, right? Because the total dialytic time is uh, dialysis time is six hours. So what is the halfway concentration? So, hey, we know the concentration in the beginning, that is, is what is that, 3.9, right? 3.9 mg per liter, and e to the power of minus, we know the elimination rate constant during intradialysis, that is 0.018, e power 0.018 times halfway through dialysis, that is how much time it is? one two three so six divided by two is half it is three hours right so times three if you solve for this one okay we get a value of how much is that that is 3.69 mg per liter that is c you can say mid dialysis all right all right uh, we'll discuss the next part in the next video